So next, I started when I was discussing about the Pelton wheel. I said that the discharge of the fluid which is coming out of nozzle. Okay, so that Q will be equal to pi by four into d square into v one, where d is nothing but diameter of the nozzle. Okay, this is applicable only for a single jet. Okay, or I can say that it is single nozzle. because if i use single nozzle then there will be single jet right so this is the jet jet of the fluid which is coming from a nozzle so if i use single nozzle then there will be single jet but if there was n number of nozzles for example here i am keeping one nozzle there was another nozzle here there was another nozzle here okay if i keep n number of nozzles then discharge will be equal to n into pi by 4 d square into v1 where n is nothing but number of nozzles or jets okay how many number of nozzles or how many number of jets are there okay now listen listen carefully if you observe this okay if you observe this properly or a, like there was some restriction i could frame it in this way there was some restriction in number of nozzles i cannot have more number of nozzles here there are some restrictions with number of nozzles what is that restrictions listen maximum i could have six only okay maximum the number of nozzles which i can provide is maximum the number of jet which i can provide is six only maximum it is okay it is maximum what is the reason what could be the reason listen carefully i'm keeping one nozzle here okay i'm keeping another nozzle here let it be and uh, i'm placing it very close okay i'm placing it very close to each other okay i'm placing it because if i want to make many nozzles if i want to make many nozzles i need to keep the i need to keep the nozzles close right close with each other right if i want to have more no more nozzles more than 6 then i need to keep it very close do like that if i do like this if i keep more than 6 if the number of nozzles are more than 6 then what is the problem the jet which is coming out from one nozzle okay the jet of liquid which is coming out from one nozzle there is possibility for this nozzle's jet also to get interfered here okay interfered means i could say that this jet okay one nozzle's jet the jet which is coming out from one nozzle can restrict the jet of other nozzle you could see like this okay so something like this see suppose suppose let this uh, hit here and after that the liquid has to fall here only right and uh, if this jet hits here and then again like if suppose the the uh, the jet which is leaving here it has to fall on the next jet so if i am having more if i am having more number of nozzles then jet of one nozzle can interfere with jet of another nozzle and jet of another nozzle can interfere with jet of another nozzle so one nozzle jet can interfere with another another can interfere with another so It's restricted that we will be keeping some distance. So I cannot keep the nozzles very close. Instead of that, I will be keeping some space. Okay, maximum I can keep only six. Okay, generally it will be four to six. And uh, most predominant usage was if it is a horizontal case. Okay, if it is a horizontal case of Pelton wheel, I will be using two. If it is vertical, between four and six. Okay, if it is a vertical case of Pelton wheel, I will be using between four and six, but not more than six. If I use more than six, what is the reason? If I use more than six, what will happen? the jet one uh, the jet which is coming out from one nozzle will offer a restriction against uh, the jet which is coming out from another nozzle so the maximum number of nozzles which i can use is 6 optimum way is optimum is 4 to 6 for vertical for vertical pelton wheel okay if the um, if the shaft is vertical i'm not saying about the pelton wheel is uh, the pelton wheel is vertical Okay, shaft vertical means this is something like this. Shaft will be like this. Pelton wheel will be placed here. Okay, shaft will be like this. Pelton wheel will be placed there. So for this case, I can use maximum of four to six. If shaft is horizontal, okay, if shaft is horizontal and Pelton wheel is placed like this, so Pelton wheel it is going to rotate like this. Okay, so if shaft is horizontal, Pelton wheel will be like Pelton wheel will be like this. If Pelton wheel was like this, like it's going to rotate. This is the rotor. So this is how. Okay, this is how it will look. Shaft is horizontal. This is shaft. and rotor if it is rotating like this okay if shaft is horizontal then maximum allowed is 2 only okay 
if it is vertical okay, if the shaft is vertical if i am placing peloton wheel like this then it is between 4 and 6 and maximum of 6 okay so for vertical shaft 6 nozzles are allowed and for maximum for horizontal shaft uh, for horizontal shaft most of the times we will be using 2 okay so now let me take a cross sectional view okay so this section okay so i am taking a section like this so I'm going to represent the section like this. I'm just you imagine that I'm cutting. I'm cutting here, okay, and I'm cutting here, and I'm seeing from this direction. If I'm cutting here, and if I'm seeing from this direction, then the cross section of the blade, okay, the cross section of the blade, it will look something like this. So this cross section, okay, this cross section is approximately represented by this. Okay, so at center there will be splitter. Okay, so I'm seeing it. I am seeing it from this direction. If I see from this direction, this cross section will look like this. Okay. At center, there will be splitter. Okay. At center, there will be splitter. And when fluid hits, okay, when fluid is going to hit, the fluid is going to hit like this. Okay. The fluid is going to hit like this. Okay. So I will draw it. Okay. The fluid is going to hit like this. Okay. This is the jet of the fluid. Okay. It is going to hit it here. And then it is going to flow over. The blades okay it's going to flow over the blade and it is going to come out in this direction okay it's going to flow over the blade and it's going to come out in this direction okay so i'm seeing it from this direction okay so in actual what will happen the splitter will be vertical like this the splitter will be the splitter will be like this fluid will enter see see properly fluid will enter like this okay so fluid will enter like this there is a straight line okay fluid will enter like this and then it will flow over the veins okay, it will be flowing over the veins over the veins over the veins it will be flowing over the veins and then it will be coming back okay so it will enter like this and then it will be coming back like this okay so exactly which is what i represented here it's entering it's flowing over the veins and it's coming back it's flowing over the vein and it is reaching that's it okay right and uh, if you see this if i extend this line okay if i extend first let me extend this line okay, to the center line okay, there is nothing but the uh, the same line as that of velocity of the blades velocity of the blade as you could see here okay what i did here this is the this is what i uh, removed right this is this is the like this view this top view is what i am representing here okay so this is the direction of velocity okay this is the direction of velocity so this is the direction of velocity of the blade okay since it is rotating like this since rotor is rotating like this blade will be moving in right hand side only so this is the direction of blade okay and this line is the axis along the direction of blade okay, this is the axis along the direction of blade now if i extend this line okay if i extend if you, you could see if i extend this line if i extend this line it will intersect with line of blade velocity it is intersecting with line of blade velocity and at some particular point okay, it is intersecting with line of blade velocity at some particular point this angle okay this angle which is uh, the angle between okay the angle between line of blade velocity and the extension of this uh, ending like i am just extending the veins okay, the extension of the veins ending this angle is taken as theta and this theta is called as jet deflection angle and as you could see jet deflection angle is always greater than 90 degree it is obtuse and this angle okay this angle is beta at the outlet again both of them are outlet beta is nothing but blade angle okay beta is at outlet because we are we are finding the extension from outlet only right so that is beta 2 this is theta 2 so jet how much it is getting deflected that is jet deflection angle beta 2 is nothing but blade angle at the outlet blade angle at outlet and what will be blade angle at inlet so blade angle is what it's nothing but this blade angle is nothing but angle made between blade and the uh, the axis of blade velocity right so this is blade velocity this is the angle uh, this is the uh, uh, line which is like i could say that this is the line which is tangential tangential to the outlet okay, this is the line which is tangential to the outlet 
so line which is connecting the outlet blade and the line of action of blade velocity that angle okay, that angle is beta 2 and that angle is nothing but blade angle but what will be blade angle at the inlet you could clearly see this is the axis of this is the axis of blade velocity u and here if i want to find beta value blade angle value that will be equal to zero only because the axis of blade and axis of uh, blade angle both of them are the same right at the inlet at the inlet okay axis of blade velocity and at this point tangent both of them are same both of them are same so beta 1 is zero okay and beta 2 is uh, what beta 2 i will be getting some value okay now listen carefully okay beta 2 is blade angle at the outlet beta 1 is blade angle at the inlet blade, blade angle at the inlet is zero blade angle at the outlet is beta 2 and this blade angle at the outlet beta 2 should be always same as that of okay angle between okay always same as that of angle between relative velocity and u okay it should be always same the blade angle at the outlet or at the inlet okay at the inlet it is zero which means angle between relative velocity and blade velocity should be zero okay when i am drawing velocity triangle similarly when i am drawing velocity triangle at the outlet when i am drawing outlet velocity triangle angle between vr that is relative velocity at the outlet and blade velocity okay, angle between these two should be beta 2 okay this concept is very important when i am drawing velocity triangle so angle between relative velocity and blade velocity will be always equal to blade angle blade angle is what nothing but i am drawing for finding out outlet blade angle i am drawing a tangent and where it is cutting where it is cutting the blade uh, where it is cutting the blade velocity angle u is blade velocity u is blade velocity this is the tangent which is drawn at the exit i am drawing a tangent where it is cutting the blade velocity angle that angle between this tangent and that blade okay blade velocity angle is nothing but beta 2 and uh, the acute angle i will be calling it as blade angle obtuse angle i will be calling it as jet deflection angle okay so acute is blade obtuse is jet deflection and this blade angle should be always equal to angle between relative velocity and uh, relative velocity and also uh, relative velocity and u blade speed okay now so you remember this concept it will be very very useful it will be very very useful it is blade angle and also it is called as vein angle sometimes it will be called as vein because uh, blades can also be called as veins right so blade angle or vein angle okay now one more concept very important concept see what if what if theta is 180 degree what if theta is 180 degree what will happen if theta is 180 degree theta 180 degree means what this point okay the exit point so it will look something like this i will show you okay this is how it is going to look okay exit so how does the fluid is going to flow the fluid is going to enter here okay it's going to split it and it's going to leave here it's going to get split it and it is going to leave here Okay, now if you draw a tangent here okay now if you draw a tangent here this is the uh, blade velocity angle this is the tangent at the outlet and you could see the tangent at the outlet and u is not at all intersecting theta is 180 degree sorry yeah theta theta 2 jet deflection angle is 180 degree that is this is completely becoming straight this instead of instead of outlet to be at some angle it's completely becoming straight now if i draw a tangent it will be horizontal only right so if theta becomes 180 degree there is a problem what is the problem see properly actually you can understand this only if you see that actions properly okay fluid is entering like this see if theta is not 180 let me explain not 180 that is at some obtuse angle for example 150 160 something like that fluid is entering like this it's flowing over the veins and it is coming like this it's exiting like this okay fluid is entering like this flowing over the veins it is exiting like this okay at some angle okay, at some angle but if theta is 180 fluid is entering like this it is exiting like this right what is happening 
fluid is entering like this okay fluid is entering like this it's flowing over it it's flowing over it see i will represent with this this is entrance okay this is entrance flowing over it this is exit okay so keep it like this this is exit entrance flowing over it exit and both will be parallel because of that what is the problem very simple let us imagine this is one jet okay this is one jet entering flowing over it coming out here there will be another another uh, i'm very sorry it is not jet this is one vein okay this is one vein entering flowing over the vein coming out here there will be another vein if it comes out exactly horizontal like this if it's coming out exactly horizontal like this then the fluid which is coming out from one vein okay the fluid which is coming out from one vein can retard the uh veins which is present like the forthcoming veins so this fluid okay this fluid which is coming out both in both the direction this fluid which is coming out can hit the next vein and similarly if i keep this is also 180 degree this fluid which is going to come is going to hit the next fluid next vein so what is happening let me explain to you again flowing it's splitting and coming horizontally it is hitting me again that is if i am the vein but flowing it's just flowing over the veins and it is if it is inclined it will be going like this it will be going like this okay but if it is flowing like this flowing over the veins if it comes exactly horizontal then it's going to hit me okay hit me in the sense i am here the veins okay i am here the vein the vein which is present after this so because of this fluid which is hitting me that is which is hitting the vein it's going to offer some retarding force on the vein so it's going to pull the vein back so but our work is to rotate the rotor okay rotate the rotor in this direction but it's entering flowing over the vein it's hitting the back side vein so back side vein is moving backward okay so this this fluid coming out and hitting this vein and this vein is moving backward so there will be a retarding forces okay retarding forces will a retarding force will occur on the fourth coming wings sorry fourth coming veins next vein fourth coming blade so if i keep if i keep jet deflection angle to be 180 degree fluid from the fluid which is coming out from one blade or one vein can it can uh, can offer a retarding force okay can offer a retarding force on the forthcoming veins or forthcoming blades okay so this is the concept so it's never to be kept at 180 degree theta should be never to be kept at 180 degree right so the optimal value of theta 2 that is uh, jet deflection angle is 165 degree and beta 2 so that it will be one uh, so that it will be 15 degree okay because we know theta is uh, 165 means beta is nothing but 180 minus 180 minus theta right so beta is 180 minus theta that is uh, 15 degree so if theta is 165 beta will be 180 minus theta that is 15 okay so that is the concept okay so what is the uh, learnings which we had here jet deflection angle should be never kept at 180 degree it should be kept at 160 degree only because if i keep it at 180 degree fluid which is coming out from one vein can hit the other vein okay so if it hit the other vein there will be retarding force on the other vein so instead of rotating like this it will be rotating backwards okay so that is not what we required right right and uh, theta inlet angle inlet angles beta will be zero okay inlet blade angle is zero outlet blade angle should be kept at 15 degree because i am keeping jet deflection angle as 165 okay so now let us take this vein okay so now let us take this vein and we will draw velocity triangle